Central America, baby. The Ohio Valley Conference Final is almost underway. The winner makes a trip to the big tournament. Let's start tonight's matchup between the Jacksonville State Gamecocks and the Eastern Illinois Panthers. And, of course, here's our starting lineup. I tell you, Brad Nessler, check out the matchup at center. These young men are really fun to watch and can definitely put up some big numbers. Definitely a matchup we should keep an eye on. All right, guys, we're in position, and we're ready for the tip. So here we go. Now looking for the pick. Hey, it's important that the dribbler really turns that corner hard when he's using that ball screen. Off the mark. And they go into their motion offense, working with four around one here. I love the four around one, especially when you got a big guy who can pass the ball exceptionally well, as well as score. Now you've got to give help on him, and it leaves people open on the perimeter. And they better be able to make that open jump shot. Coach looks on. Focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Brandon handles the feed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That's a good-looking bucket out of the transition, Brad. Setting up offensively. The Panthers have really made some progress in recent times. Hey, they sure have, Brad. But I guarantee you that they want to continue on this trend. Look at that spacing. He shoots from the corner. Bust the J. to feed the low block. He attempts a jump shot and come up short. Pushes it up. He shoots from the deep corner. The missed shot. Now they reset the play. Basketball IQ really important. Know what a good shot is. He lets it go. Kisses it off the backboard. You always want your players going hard to the basket like that, right, Dick? You know, he did a great job putting the ball on the floor and getting to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. In the lane. Missed it. The point guard with the ball. Kicks it out. He attempts the three. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. He looks for three. Off the mark. Gave it up. Throws it up. Mill handles the feed. Three minutes left on the game clock. For two. He couldn't put down the spectacular alley-oop. If you call for it, you've got to finish it. Picks up the foul. First personal foul. The Panthers are moving the ball well. They're getting contributions from a number of players on both ends of the court, Dick. You can't have any weak links out there at this level. The coaches and players are just too good, and they'll be exposed. So far, it's been a demonstration of teamwork here today. He puts up the tray. Scores it. He can light things up in a hurry. He's got that scores mentality. His coaching staff feels as though he's capable of leading the team and conference and score. Sometimes he gets in a groove and can score a bunch of points in a short period of time. On the wing. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Puts up the J. I tell you, he's got every move in the book. What an offensive player. That fadeaway is impossible to block. Here comes the ball screen. Mill receives the ball. 
Not a wise decision to take that shot there. That shot was definitely ill-advised. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Off the glass and no good. Robinson receives the ball. Kicks it out. Pull up jumper left side. Nails a sweet jumper. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots the jumper. Dick, if you ask me, they're not getting a whole lot of open looks tonight. They're not moving the ball the way they were taught, Brad. In the post. Goes up for two. Off target. English handles the pass. For the bucket. The shot won't fall. They'll work it around the arc. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. It's good. the corner. Nope. At the half, the Gamecocks are down by eight. Eastern Illinois is making good use of the three ball here, Dick. Absolutely, Brad. So far, at least 50% of their scoring output comes from behind the arc. When you're burying them from the three like that, you can second guess the defense by taking the ball to the hole. like a full court man-to-man -man press, Mr. Vitale. Robinson handles the pass. There may be a pick and roll here, Dick. You've got to love the pick and roll, especially when it's run to perfection, man. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. They work the perimeter. Rejects it. He misses it. Tries the three. Missed the jumper. And we got a whistle and a foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. He goes to the free throw line. Concentration, got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. Both shots, no good. Open shot. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. I think they're trying to make a statement. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He found the prevent the easy basket. He makes it. And he got them both.
Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He hits the shot. Cross court. For the bucket. Tickles a twine. Down inside. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Gets it. Looking for the ball screen, Dick. Hey, the two-man game, Brad. So many teams incorporated into their scheme because it works. Kicks it out. Takes a medium-range jumper. Knocks it down. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Dumas receives the ball. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of luck. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. He sinks it. Got the ball. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBN. The Panthers are going to have to transition into playing strictly a half-court style now. Yeah, I think the best thing to do at this point is to slow completely down at the offensive end. If you have transition opportunities, take them. Otherwise, milk the clock and shoot with less than seven seconds left on the clock. Try to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Two minutes left on the game clock. Mary's at home. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Tries for two. The missed shot. Brandon handles the feed. On the outside. Did the guy in the stands call for it? It's a team effort across the board so far today, Nick. I'll tell you what, they get an A for effort in my book so far, Brad. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to get from your team as a coach. When you have everyone on your team working together and playing hard, great things work out. For two, they just can't seem to get a nice look at the goal tonight. They have to be patient on offense and find some easy hoops. Trying to go inside. With a deep shot from outside. That's an ill-advised shot. And I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Town checks in for the first time. I'll tell you, this is what they need coming off the bench, Brad. Sideline inbounds. He tries the jumper. Can't connect. Goes up for two. And he can't hit the shot. Kicks it out. He pulls up with a jumper. Off the mark. Moving it around the perimeter. Shot. 
Shot clock is dead. For the bucket. Was that beautiful or what? And a momentary look from three-point land. Gets the J to fall. This guy really known as a player who can get to the basket. Then. He uses his athleticism to get to the painted area and causes lots of problems for the defense. Eastern Illinois completes an unbelievable four-game run that saw them up against some really stiff competition. But in the end, they proved to be too much. Hey, congratulations have to go to the coach and the players as they rightly deserve the title, man. And the bragging rights that go along with being a conference champ. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.